Hey, my name is Jim Hamill, and I'm the CEO of the Erwinheimer Group of North America. A few years back, I sat down with my team, and we initiated the Echo Trek project. It was a result of many, many years of owner's feedback, and the whole environmental side of things was very important to us. The biggest frustration of owners was the electrical limitations of the coach. It was a frequent comment that the batteries were always dead, and it took so long to charge them back up. The power of their AC devices, they needed to plug in, so they needed to be at a campground. Or they had to run a generator all the time, a loud, stinky, noisy, unreliable generator. These are the issues that consumers need addressed, and we made uh, three points we wanted to address. We wanted to power the coach from a single source. We didn't want to have to have 110 and 12 volt. We wanted to be able to have everything come from one source all AC and DC devices needing to be fed at the same time. The second thing we wanted to achieve was we wanted to provide that power for longer periods of time to those large appliances that needed it. And the third thing we wanted to achieve was the ability to recharge batteries very quickly and have the ability for the owners to enjoy their vacation by getting batteries up and running faster and not having to worry more about the management of the equipment. We wanted to do all this without people having to plug in, without people being locked to a formal campground. So when we sat down and looked at how we were doing things originally and how the RV world does things, we analyzed that the vast majority of people were using traditional lead-acid wet cell batteries, a technology that was invented in the late 1800s. In looking at what was available in the marketplace, we found lithium-ion batteries, they produce a much more constant voltage. You can use all the power available in the battery. Lithium batteries recharge much more quickly than traditional lead acid batteries. When we started building the EchoTrek power modules with lithium cells, we discovered that we could achieve that single source of power to the coach for both DC and AC using an inverter and not having to directly power from the wall. The inverter was added in order to take DC power from the lithium batteries and convert it to AC. It was great knowing that we could distribute power throughout the entire coach, whether the needs were AC or DC. One single source of lithium iron phosphate batteries could take care of this. So since we discovered that this technology now can handle what we wanted to do, we had to figure out ways to put more batteries in, more cells in, longer periods of time in, and we started working and doing testing here at the plant in order to achieve that. Item number two, which was a longer period of power, was now available. In our research, we discovered that 80% of the lithium battery capacity could be used before recharging is required, and they were still running at that point. This is substantially more than the 40 to 50% that a lead acid or wet cell battery could provide. AGM or lead acid or wet cell batteries can only take a certain amount of ampage at one time. They trickle charge when they're really low. Otherwise, you damage the batteries. Lithium iron phosphate, on the other hand, can take as much ampage as we throw at it. And the final point on our checklist, recharging, was addressed. This was the one area where we had found had the biggest payoff in using lithium batteries. The improved power capabilities and the recharge advantages sold us on moving forward with the lithium iron phosphate cells, and we built them into what are called EchoTrek power modules that manage the batteries and also keep the temperature of them under control. So we now have the battery source that will give us all the power storage we need, but we have to figure out how to recharge those modules and do it in a way where we don't have to be plugged in or running a generator. For our EchoTrek system, we pioneered an innovative device found under your hood. It's called a GU, or engine generator. This device is attached to your powertrain and uses the engine to create electricity that is then fed back into the batteries. The GU can create electricity both while driving or when you're parked. The final piece of the EchoTrek system is solar. Much like the GU, the power generated is fed through a controller and then onto the batteries. It's trickle charging and topping up your batteries all the time. It doesn't provide enough power just from solar in order to run the devices in the coach, but it's giving you a constant offset of the power usage and trickle charge, particularly when you're not using the vehicle so it's ready when you are using it. Solar panels, by their very nature, are susceptible to many environmental issues, and the actual amount of light rays, sunlight, and the angle of the light on them is important. 
no two people will ever get the same results from solar panels. The main focus of solar panels is to charge the batteries. They are not designed to power devices directly. As well as we've stated in previous episodes, if while charging the batteries are still being used to run something in the coach, the recharge effect is minimized. It's not negated, just minimized. For example, if your solar panels are pushing 20 watts of power per hour back into the batteries, but you're running several lights in your coach that are consuming 25 watts per hour, then your batteries are in a negative state and you will in fact run them down to a point where they will shut off. You still have to be generating more power than you use in order for the batteries to charge. The best way to utilize solar is by turning off as many devices and limiting any draws on the batteries. To recap, our Echotrack system can involve a number of pieces. Lithium batteries are at the core of the system and combined with an inverter, it gives you the ability to power your entire coach and for much longer periods of time. Faster recharging is possible, and thanks to solar and our proprietary GU, both can be used effectively as a means to keep your Echotrek power modules topped up. All of these have been designed to work together to give you the most revolutionary battery management system in the entire RV world. In the next chapter, we'll go over some of the basics as it relates to what kind of power the various devices within your coaches consume. Thanks for watching and safe travels.